Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. So today's video is a requested video. You guys wanted to know what are some of my favorite brushes, which brushes do I use the most often, and also could I recommend some brushes for people who are starting out using makeup, and that's true, there are a lot of women who are just subscribing to me who've never used makeup before, but want to buy some makeup brushes. So I'm going to give you a recommendation of some brushes that I think are very helpful, especially if you're watching videos here on YouTube and you want to recreate some of the looks that you see. Now I have a handful of brushes, but I'm not going to go through all these brushes. I'm not even going to recommend all these brushes. I have only a few in here that I recommend and I'm going to share them with you. So the first thing I want to tell you is if you don't have a lot of money to spend on brushes, don't buy the huge brush kit that has 21 brushes in it or 30 brushes in it because chances are you may not use all those brushes. Um, you can try buying smaller kits where maybe there are five brushes in the kit because more than likely you'll probably be able to use all five of them, especially if you're using them for your own personal use and you're not using them to do other people's faces with. Okay, so the first brush is this Sonia Kashuk brush. This is a foundation face brush. And it just says Sonia Kashuk Tools. And as you can see, the top is flat. And this is really great for liquid makeup. So you, when you apply liquid makeup, you may want to squirt it on the back of your hand, your makeup, or you may want to just put a little bit on the top of this brush. And then you just want to just kind of dot it over and then kind of blend it out and this really gives you a nice smooth canvas like finish it just your skin is nice and smooth and your liquid foundations blend down really well now I like to use this brush also for my mineral foundations like my bare essential or my philosophy supernatural canvas which is one of my favorite minerals uh, foundations I like to use that this brush for that so yeah so now if you don't find a brush like this in a kit that you can buy either you know from a brush website a makeup brush website you can pick a brush similar to this up from elf.com and I think this is running around maybe like four or five dollars I'm not sure this one is by Sonia Kasha the next brush I want to recommend is a powder brush like once you apply your liquid foundations and you want to set it you want to uh, use a brush like this disperse your setting powder all over your face let it sit for a second or two and then you just want to buff it away. Sweep it away with a big brush. Big brushes are good because they cover a large section of the face at one time and you can easily just remove any excess powder or you can even use it just to clean up under your eye especially if you have a lot of fallout from eyeshadow and that just means when you're applying eyeshadow you get a sprinkling of powder just at the lower part of your face here. You can use a brush like this to sweep away any excess or you can use a makeup wipe. Well, I prefer to use a makeup wipe because you get a clean removal of any eyeshadows, especially if the eyeshadows are dark. So the next brush I want to recommend is a blending brush. And let me just bring it a little bit closer so you can see it. I love this kind of brush. This brush, or this type of brush, I use most often in my makeup applications. Now, sometimes this brush is in the kit. Most of the time it is. If you're buying single brushes, you want to pick up, I would recommend you pick up two of these. And I'm going to tell you why I suggest this. This brush is really great. It's great for softening out any eyeshadow look that you, that you may have. It's great for that. It's great blending out. It's great for applying color in your crease and blending it out. This brush is great for applying concealer just here at the lower part of the eye. I did a video on that I think a couple of days ago using a blending brush and then using some MAC concealer applying it under my eye and then working it out in a circular motion. The reason why I recommend two of these, if you can get two of these at one time, what you want to do is you want to have one maybe to apply your, your light concealers here and a separate one to apply any dark concealers in your crease. Because you, if you need to use this brush twice, you don't want to wash it to, to apply your concealer. You may want to have two. So in this case, I have two in my hand, but I really have a collection of about five. So I'm showing you two. So if you need to start with brushes, start with getting at least two concealer brushes with your brush selection that you're going to be purchasing. These are really helpful. 
Okay, so the next brush is a small blending tapered brush. This brush is really small and it really just nestles itself right into your crease area so that it's, it's much smaller than you can see. It's much smaller than the full size blending brush. The smaller tapered blending brush just gets right in there, adds the color into your crease where you need it and you can also blend out, soften your crease color with this brush. What I like to do is once I deposit the color and apply it in, in my crease, I like to take my brush and clean it off on a tissue that I might have nearby just to remove any extra color that's in there, go back in and soften it out. So this brush is great for that. This brush is also great for if you wanted to add some highlight into the corner of your eye, you definitely can do that. Apply a little bit there a little bit there because it has that tip you can you have control of where you put color so this is the tapered blending brush this is one of the new extravaganza brushes by Sigma this is the one of their 18 karat gold brushes this is really nice I like that as a matter of fact I bought a few of the 18 karat gold brushes just to add to my collection not that I need any more brushes but I bought I bought about four. Let me show you them. They're right here. Here they go, right here. This first one here, this is a foundation brush. This next one, this is a powder brush. You can, I can use it to apply dry foundations with, like powdered foundations. And then the last small brush here, this is a, um, a concealer brush. A flat concealer brush. Brush by Sonia Kashuk. This is a slanted liner brush. And I love the slanted liner brush because you can use this to add any gel liner to your upper lash line. You can use this to add any liner, any colored liner like I did today. I have on um, like a blue liner. I put that on with a brush like this. You can do that with it. You can also line just, just beneath your brow with a brush like this. So this brush you have multiple uses in it. You could really get a lot of wear out of a brush like this. But this was a really quick review, guys, on not even a review. This was a talk through about brushes. So if you're interested in brushes and you have any more questions, and I didn't touch on anything that you, you know, you needed to know, please just leave your questions and your comments in the section below, and I'll answer you as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, guys, so that's it. This is really quick, really fast. So you take care. Oh, on my lips today, very quickly, I have on Keisha Kaor. This is her lipstick. This is called Gorgeous. This is the lipstick right here. Really pretty. Kind of iridescent. And I have on her lip gloss. The lip gloss is called... I don't know what it's called. I can't see the name is rubbed off. I can't see the name is rubbed off, but this is the color. And I'm wearing that. And you apply it. It comes with a brush. And I just applied a little bit of gloss over the lipstick. And that's what I have on my lips today. So, okay, guys. So, that's it. So, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Take care and be well. And I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.